Thank you for staying with us. And we're here with Ethan and Jenna, who have both won Survivor. Mm. Survivor Africa, Survivor Amazon. And then we also did the Survivor All-Stars. Did was, you? Yeah, both of us. Now, why don't I remember that? Oh, you don't want to remember that. Because we weren't on that long. Yeah. Because <laughs> we were voted off Short time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, Survivor, now it's Survivor, Great Walk to Beijing. Exactly, yes. Mm. What's been your experience? Uh, I, it's been more than I expected. I mean, I kind of, I knew it was going to, I've never, I've always wanted to travel here. I knew it was yeah. going to be an experience. Mm. Uh, I didn't expect to really bond with the people in such a short amount of time. It was a, a very pleasant surprise. We've got some amazing people here. Um, and the walls of me, it's just been kind of surreal. Mm. Sometimes I feel like I'm not really even here. Mm. <laughs> like this is all a dream and I'm going to wake up. I'm just really thankful and I'm thankful to be able to to give back to such a great cause. I mean, I love the idea of a wellness center. I think mind, body, spirit is so important when you're trying to heal people and I feel like it's so overlooked, especially in the United States. We're just all medicine, 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 prescription, prescription, and mm -hmm. there's, there's so much more than that. So mm -hmm. I really feel like this will help change the face of, of, of healing. Mm -hmm. I think that's really important. Mm. That's a very nice way to put it, very <laughs> eloquent. It is. <laughs> And what about the experience the two of you together here doing this? How's that been? I mean, it's been great to be able to share this with Jenna. And I mean, the cause, because it's just as close to Jenna, I mean, if you want to explain, you know, about your mom. Oh, yeah. yeah I mean, I've, cancer's been a huge part of my life. My mom actually passed away from cancer. In breast 2000, cancer. Breast cancer in yeah. 2004. She had had it for 12 yeah. years before that. And I had an aunt who had it, a neighbor who had it. Our friend Jen has, is battling bone cancer right now. She's in her 20s. So uh, it's just been a huge part of my life. So, yeah. you know, it's, it's, I don't know, it's very important to me. It's personal also. And, mm. and even if it wasn't, I'd probably still want to be yeah. here. <laughs> but that's what makes it even more special. We're doing it in the memory of them also. Because she was very much into holistic healing. She was into, you know, meditation and all that stuff. So she would have definitely been excited about this. Oh, well, and I'm sure, I'm sure she, she is. is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's probably sitting right here somewhere. Yeah. Unreal. What's been the memorable part of the walk so far for you? I think uh, the first day for me, because mm. it was, um, for some reason, it was the first day was the wall really looked like what I would, what I pictured it to look like, and we were kind of on top of very narrow yeah. portions, and it was the first day, and everyone was so willing to help out, and we were going in and out of watchtowers, and it was, it was, it was, I didn't expect it to be like that. I don't even know what to yeah. say. It was just... Surreal. Yes. Was surreal. Yeah. yeah. And, and also, I mean, for me, the same. And, and obviously walking with, you know, actually real survivors mm, of cancer. Yeah. I mean, mm. I hate Nicely put. using, the, it's true. The, using mm. the term survivors with us is, you know, it's silly. You know? Yeah, and now I mean, in And I feel perspective. In, in perspective, you know, when you say, oh, we Ethan, Jen, and the survivors are here. But we have real survivors yeah. on Swipe, people who are, like, mm. legit. Like, they're the real deal. Mm. And to meet those people and talk to them and hear their stories and having them share their stories with us is an honor. Mm. And, you know, now we're walking for them as well and all the people in the future that we can potentially not ever have to call survivors. Yeah, you know? and they said, you know, they were talking about the actual cancer survivors, how waiting, they don't care to wait around in a bus for a couple hours. They're just happy to be here. Yeah. Mm. So it makes you go... Yeah, I get it. And, you know, we'll take that back with us. Yeah. Mm. Survivor is a game. It and for is. those guys, it really it's is. not a game. Yeah. There's so many more important issues and concerns happening in the world yeah, than winning this little television show. So mm. it's been nice. It's been a, a little reality check, a little a life lesson for me. It's, it's good to get those every once in a while. Mm. Yeah. Although, you know, I absolutely get what you say. And thank you so much for putting it, you know, in such clarity. The re the reality of the reality of the <laughs> show. Look at what you've been able to do, though, with what you achieved from mm. Survivor Africa. And look what you've been able mm. to achieve with Survivor Amazon. Yeah. And now the two of you are here and helping the real survivors to generate the money yeah. to increase wellness on the planet. I mean, there's something quite beautiful in that. Yeah, yeah that's what it's all it meant to be. I mean, I always mm. said, my mom always said, everything happens for a reason. I believe that. I believe there, there's a reason why uh, we took the path that we did. He had, you know, got laid off from a job right before Survivor. I had not gotten a big job right before Survivor. And then these two, the Survivor came about. We probably wouldn't have done it if mm. we had gotten the other jobs. It wouldn't have led us to each other. It wouldn't let us here. Mm. And we still trying to wanting to be help, help people because that's what we obviously were born to do. Yeah. Mm. But not in this 
and this big of a spear, yeah. which is, if you, that's really all that's important, using what you have to help others. That's mm -hmm. really what it comes down yeah. to. My mm -hmm. dad, my dad, before he died, he told me to make happiness real for others is truly the greatest gift. Wow, that's interesting. And that's kind of like my mojo. I live by that now. Yeah. And uh, this is one of those opportunities for us. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, as we're winding up towards the end of the show, I'd like both of you in turn, perhaps starting with you, Ethan, looking in the camera and telling people why they need to donate to Olivia Newton-John's Cancer Research and Wellness Centre. Why you need to donate? Well, if, um, basically, if I could spend one fraction of a second more with my father, I would. You know, if I could have that time back, I'd take that time back. So hopefully everyone in the future, by having this center in Australia, will be given those minutes back, will be given that time back with their future loved ones. And uh, that's, that's the reason you should go on, online and donate lots of money, and uh, so we will never have to lose anyone ever again, ever, because it sucks. Thank you. And for you? Um, I just think that wellness is, is so much more than just prescriptions and medicines, and the, when people are sick, making them comfortable is the number one priority and by making someone comfortable and healing their mind you're getting extra quality time with them like you said and that's really all that matters this is something that we can do to help people survive this and it's good karma like you should want to help others and you want to make other families never lose a memory you should never want kids to have to cry over losing a parent over losing a child and that's really what this is all about and that's why you need to donate mm -hmm. There is um, a project that's coming up from you about dribbling, no, kicking yes. a soccer ball. What's that? Well, you know, obviously to raise money and mm -hmm. to raise awareness for grassroots soccer in the United States, I will be dribbling a soccer ball mm -hmm. from Boston, Massachusetts to Washington, D.C., uh, which is about 550 miles. I don't know what that is in kilometers, but 550 miles will be about a 65-day journey. And each step of the way, just like Olivia and it's trying to raise money along the way, mm -hmm. I'll, be doing, I'll be having events and meeting with soccer clubs and trying to raise money. Raise, try, we're trying to raise a million dollars for grassroots soccer because uh, the more money we raise, the more kids we can uh, save and the more smiles we can put on faces out there. Oh, that's cute. And look at that smile. Where's one yeah. from you? <laughs> <laughs> this is where the million dollars went, to buy a new smile. No, <laughs> Very cool. Thanks. Amazing. It's just, you know, it, it feels so surreal sitting here with the two of you who truly are survivors in the, the biggest sense of the word of reality yeah. TV yeah. and yet hearing how you also just so dovetail this into your passion, your purpose on the planet. Thank you both so much for coming on the program. Well, thank you thank for you. letting us share our stories yeah. nationwide. So. Uh, you are so welcome. You are so welcome. Thank you so much for, for being part of the program because without the viewers, there ain't no show. Just as without the guests, there ain't no show. But you've heard from these two amazing people why it's important to jump on and keep those donations coming. The, the website, conversationwithrobin.com, you'll see a link to keep sponsoring my steps along the way. You'll also see an update of what's happening. Um, so just keep you know, sharing and keep the money coming in. Thank you again so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Take care. Don't give up. Here I am. And if you need a helping hand, I'm gonna be right here with you. You're not alone.